I have a long string, 3 meters long, about 10 feet. We'll make the overhand knot. So there are always two ways of making a knot. So we're going to make, um, I'll show you. So uh, let's, for example, the left, the left side will be under the right side. So right side over the left side here. And then I'll take the, uh, this side, go underneath and put it in between a loop. And now I'm just gonna uh, more or less pull the strings. And you see this is the knot, but it is not that you can ever do, ever do, and it's pretty useful. The orientation is a left hand orientation, so the, pin, the string that points towards you is points towards the left, and you'll see why it's a left, not a right hand. So make sure you get uh, this orientation here. Then we just uh, st stretch the, the knot. Next I'll uh, face it uh, on the opposite side and I'm gonna make another left hand knot, over overhand knot. So put it straight here. This guy gonna point towards the left. And then we'll take this one. At a moment. We'll take this one, this side, and get full loop. So it's the easiest knot that you can ever done. And well, I'm pretty sure every, everybody knows that. So you see, the string here points towards the left, and this string points towards the right. Once we did the second knot, we are now, before finishing it off, I'll introduce another string. The string is two meters, uh, six and a half feet. I'll put it un underneath a knot, find the center and I'm gonna weave. So make sure the left side goes down and the right side goes up. So let's show you. This side here, well, first of all, it's hard to move him at first. So, okay, make sure, make sure this string um, is up and the upside, this string is the downside. And next we're gonna go over and under. So let's show you, like always when adding strings, we get this kind of thing. So you see this string is in between these two loops and this string is in between this loop and this loop here. And we stretch. And now we need to make a few stitches. So this will be for part two. Remember the cover stitch, so we're gonna make something similar. So there is a twisted cobra stitch and there is a cobra stitch. We're gonna make the cobra stitch, the regular regular thing. So always uh, make sure you follow the stitch that you had before. So this string will go from the left to the right here. And this string will go from right to the left here. And I'll show you in a few moments. I'll give you pictures. So you see this one goes to the right and the left one go to the left and that's how you do it. Like you always alternate in between alternating between the two handedness orientations. So this is the right hand stitch because the string that points towards me is in, points to, towards the right. Okay, now we're just gonna uh, weave uh, two middle white strings. Here, or another here, and this one will be down here. So, or under here, in between the two loops here, the white and the, this white and this uh, purple loop. And we have a second stitch. And yeah, you can, you can see that we're always gonna end alternating between the two orientations. 
So that's a good sign. The left string will go from right to left, and the right string will go from left to right. So let's do it here, from right to left, and this one from left to right. So always check that you always alternate between between the two rotations. If you don't do it, then you'll get uh, twisted. So now this is a left hand rotation. And yeah, it takes a while to to feel uh, like you need a little bit to think at first and then it will go naturally like always first uh, time you learn something it's hard and then it's always the case okay so we done a uh, few stitches and uh, I think I'll add a new string here so I have another, another long, long string and you know same idea I'll put it in between the two white strings I'll find the center, of course. So here the center and weaving. Really, really simple. And uh, yeah, we can continue and I'll pause here. You can continue on your own with some more stitches. Oh, then uh, part three, I'll show you how to change uh, from this uh, white to a different color. So I think a three, uh, a two by, I don't know how you say it, but it's supposed to be a two by one overhand, not, I don't know how you're gonna call this, this kind of thing. Yeah, I'll continue making the same length here. And when it gets up to here, I'll change colors to be fun. Just to remind you, to make the stitch, you need to know the two rotations for the right hand, the upstring goes from right to left, the downstring goes from left to right, and all the middle strings go straight. And the left hand is the opposite, so the downstring goes from right to left, and the upstring goes from left to right, and again the middle strings go to the straight. What I'll do now is I'm gonna change uh, the middle strings, the two white strings here, so these two, to a dark purple. So we're gonna make um, one more stitch. Okay, once I did the stitch, I'll take the dark purple and put it underneath the two middle strings, these two. So to do it, to go, go like that. Put it here, underneath, and here. See? Like we add a string, but like how we add a string, but it's not really adding a string. And then I'll find the center of a, of a string. And now I'll uh, stretch the stitch. Okay, once we've done that, I'll cut the middle strings. So these two. 
So let me first uh, stretch it all the way. I'll cut the middle strings. So cut them as cut them as much as you can, and then try to do it with your with with your hands. And then I'll glue the stitch. And yeah, we have uh, this stitch, and you can continue on regularly. I'll make one more stitch. So we have here left hand stitch. I'll make this string points towards the right. This the other string go towards the left. And then I'll continue no normally. So. This goes here. And you pull the strings. So, and anyway, you continue, continue more. I'll make a, f a couple more. So I'll, I'll say in, in advance how many I made. And uh, yeah, I'll show you also now the results after making a few stitches of these. So a quick summary of what, of what I did for part four. I made add a new string and make a few more stitches on off screen. Then I made a double side brick stitch and made 17 stitches. So let's uh, begin. What I'm gonna do now is gonna make another stitch and add a string to it in between the two dark purple. So I'm gonna do it very fast because you already know how to do it. Fast forwarding it uh, two, two times uh, more faster. Okay, now I add a string in the middle, in between. And I'm gonna weave. And I'll make a few more stitches on these. So, after this, I'll show you the next part. What I'll do next, I'm gonna make is cross guard. So I have um, six new strings, and I'm gonna make a double side brick stitch. So I'll make a knot with all these uh, six strings. Okay. And I'll make the brick stitch. So let's see what is here. I'll 
first meeple box somehow okay heavy box and then I'll add rubber two here in between Work stitch. I'll make uh, three more and then I'll continue on my own. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make yeah, three, a few more. So Now I'll undo the big knot and fix the first uh, stitch on the other side. So yeah, here I'll just uh, continue on my own. So you see you have here two sides. One is almost, uh, you can't even continue on the other side, on this side here. So eventually you're gonna, gonna cut these strings here and I'll only continue on this side here so I'll make a few stitches uh, I'll make yeah I'll make one more just to show you so one is here one is here make sure you you know which strings to weave the string is R on the upper side not on the downside these two so this one and not this one for example this one Okay, so I'll continue on myself. What I'll do in part five, you'll get through uh, this stitch, all the strings from this stitch, through one side of a um, brick to the other side. The way we do it is um, that, let's say you have a scissors, you can get full loops, so uh, through, uh, through the um, two sides, so let's say I get from here. Now I get a uh, acting some force to our side, and then what I do is I tilt in a diagonal way this, and then try to get in. When you see, I have a uh, ending of uh, scissors right through the brick. So. You know, you need to have some sharp objects to get through the sides. And uh, this is how we're going to do the insert for strings. 
So I'm already gonna insert the, the one that I already created. I'll take the purple uh, lavender string. So one lavender will be here and the other lavender will be here. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The two sides of a, of a stitch will be one here and one here. So I'll take this and um, I'll get inside. See? And then gets full automatically automatically because I already stab with stabbed it with my scissors. So that's the idea. I'll make one, another time another uh, I'll do it again with uh, our side, uh, our purple. Make sure it's straight also, not to that, and not uh, twisted or something. So the other one will be uh, this lavender. I'll put uh, through here. So from here to there. See? It looks really easy, but it's really you need to work it out with your scissors or some your sharp object. And I'm pretty sure. See one, one side, will be on this line here, second from the right column, and the other paper will be on the other, the opposite column. So second from left. So yeah, one string second from left column of loops, and one is second from the right. This column here. This is important. See what's once I did it, it here I made a little mistake, I'll fix it. It's a little bit uh, twisted. I'll fix and then I'll show you uh, where to add Vavr with some still pictures. Okay, so the um, people, I'll insert it through this loop, uh, through this gap, and then this white for this one, and then this white for this one, and then I'll flip it up, and then uh, this purple will be there, this white will be there, and this white will be there. Okay, well, once we've done, we done that, uh, it pulled all the strings, and you see that this, everything is straight is nice. And uh, the reason I made, made a double sided uh, super brick stitch is that you can now expand on both sides or undo stitches. So, whatever you prefer to make it uh, symmetrical and uh, nice. So, I'll maybe I'll, I'll make a few stitches here, and then I'll cut the strings there. But it's more importantly for, for me to show you this is how to continue. So, on your side, you'll get something, you, you must get something like this. So, you see. Two strings here. In between these two strings, there's only one loop. And then between these two strings, this white and this purple, there are two loops. And then between this, these two whites will be one one loop, one more one loop here. And the same here, the right side also. So one loop here, two loops here, and then uh, one loop here. Okay, we can do several things now after. Checking that everything is right, uh, I'll make here one by three stitch, and then change it. Uh, next stitch, I'll change it to uh, a uh, two by two base.
this is the last part for the sword. I've cut the strings here and make uh, a throw stitch. Throw to B2. I made a throw uh, in three ways. I think the last way, the third way, that I'll sh uh, I made two stitches on the third way, I think two stitches on the second way, and I think three stitches for the first way, or two or three, I not, not, not remember. I think the third way is the easiest. Let me know, okay? So third, I think, is the easiest. Then I think the first is second is for easy, easiest, and then the third, I think, is the hardest. So let me know. Uh, criticize me whenever you can, please. Because, again, I wanted to show it on my channel. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So what I'll do is I'll transform from this 3 one stitch to a 2 by 2 with a ter most trivial um, stitch that you can come up with that uh, all the strings are point straight except from uh, these two so this is the picture that you want to see all the directions now let's do it um, so this one goes down this one goes up and then this one is also down let's see. Um, yeah, this one here, this one here. Okay, everything is here, straight, except uh, these two, and then go over and under with all our strings. Again, everything is straight. Excuse me. Wow, oh, I made a, made a mess. I'll fix it later. Yeah, I forgot my scissors. And once we stretch it. So you get a 2 be 2 base. And now we can make either a twist, either, yeah, make it uh, nice. So I, I usually like something uh, that is not ordinary. Then I'll continue with a uh, zero stitch. Here are the directions the strings will move. So let's uh, first, uh, for example, take this one, this one. Uh, this one, this one, and this one, all the corners. Okay, and we'll perform a, a box stitch, will be, the, will be the borders of a new stitch. So one goes here, one goes here, here, and here. These will be the borders, so everything in between will be in between, of course. So this one will be here. This one will be here. And the other two. See you, all the whites. For this stitch, right now, all the whites will be in the same direction. Next stitch, it's, it won't be the case. And you know, it'll take, I think, either twice or three times until it gets to the same, um, the same uh, arrangement of strings. So it's, it, I think it's much easier to 
when making uh, the borders with starting with the borders and then continuing so I'll make another two stitches with these and then uh, I'll show you what I'll show you the results oh, I'll make uh, maybe another yeah one of the two I think so again, here is the direction of our strings will be moving. And yeah, I'll start with taking the tail. Corners always stay the same. You pick all these corners. Four corners. This one will go here. This one goes over. This one goes over. And then finally this one here. Then again, uh, these two will be in between the uh, whites. Now I'll do it with a different order. I'll choose different strings to start with. So this one, this one, I'll pick these two. This one, this one will move here in between this, these two strings, and then this one will move here. Then I'll pick to I'll pick this one cross over and on, over and under and then take this one over and under then this one no actually I'll take this one over and under I need this one. Over and under. You see, we perform kind of a brick. It's not a brick, it's something else. Everything looks the same, but it's not. So now we, we're moving to the other direction, the up and down directions. I'll do with this one, with white. Over and under, over and under. Uh, excuse me, this white first. Over and under, over and under. And then finally this one. So uh, I'll make one more time this same uh, specific uh, weaving to show you, and let me know what is e what was easier for you to understand. Please. Ah, and you can see that now uh, the white strings are the same direction right now, so it comes out that uh, takes two two stitches until it gets back to the same um, order of colors. So I'll do it the same same time, same thing, starting with this and this, so skipping these two strings. This will go here, and this will go there. Now the direction, the direction of these two strings will be in the opposite direction going from left, left to right. So this one, this one, then I'll pick these two, 
uh, away this one, then we, this, then this one, this one, then this, this one. And finally, uh, these two white and dark purple. So closing off, it's it's really the easiest thing. Finding the string. Going under here. And then finish this stitch here. The third way to make the stitch is like this. So I think it's the easiest way. Let me know if it's the easiest way. I start with this one. We count, we're going from left to right. You know, directions from left from left to right, and you starting with this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. So getting this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Then all the other four will be in the other direction. So picking this first, open under here, then this one, Okay, this is how you do the third way to do it. So let's show you one one last time. Actually, I'll not. I'll, sh I'll do. Yeah, I'll make one, and on the way, I'll make the end stitch. So taking this from left to right, so first this one, then this one, then this one, and finally this one. So taking this first string, this one, this one, and finally this one, so having all the four strings, Then uh, you don't have really options. You take this string, then uh, this string, And 
find the string. So please uh, let me know what was easier. And be, uh, before pulling the strings, I'll just make the end stitch. So this is a be the end stitch. End stitch is very the same idea as we do with uh, um, quad or uh, tornado. So first I'll take this string, I'll put it in between here, I'm getting through the center. Then getting this string here, and this string. string here and finally oh no no the strings three more actually so this one for here And yeah, I just need to pull the strings and do it myself. Put the strings and I'll show you. So this is a really came up pretty nice. And yeah, well, came pretty nice. Um, yeah. If you liked it, uh, tell me um, what's wrong with the tutorial please uh, criticize me because I want to make it uh, on the channel if, uh, if in, the, in the near future so see ya bye bye